Hey, what's going on? Just wanted to share this piece with you so far. Got a lot of the hogging out. As you can see, it's stair-stepped all the way back. And I'm actually going to split this rim and create two rims on top of one another right here. And then I'll actually roll this back a little bit. And then have the crease come down and fade out. But just kind of wanted to let you see this piece, see what you thought. So I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have these. I think I am going to go with a uh, kind of like a, an organic, maybe a coral type texture type thing. I haven't decided which is what I want to do just yet. But this right here, the blackness right here, is actually from the inside. So hopefully, if I rub a little bit of bleach on there, it'll fade it out some. Uh, but I'll, I'll look at that later on. I don't know how it's going to affect the actual board. But what are your thoughts? Okay, so here's this side where it's just kind of rolled over. And then with no texture. And then this is rolled over with texture. What do you think? I want the honest truth. It's not going to hurt my feelings. I'm feeling it, but I'm not feeling it. I'm obviously I'm not done or anything like that, but I just kind of want to get your input. I mean, it's kind of cool. What do you think? All right, so the piece is here. All right, so this jellyfish is way too busy. I'm gonna um, uh, refine it and slim it out, but um, it's gonna have a jellyfish. Now, the one thing that he wanted on here is he wanted the letters that spell out mom. So my idea is to actually have the tentacles just casually spell out the word mom, right? Because her mom did die. And, you know, so I got some tube sponges that I'm it's growing out from the bottom. And then I'm gonna do some type of coral that's all the way around the bottom, as you can see the pencil line. And the bottom is just gonna be all texture. And then as we continue on, more tube sponges, continue and continue. And then we get to here. So right here is, uh, right here is going to be a brain coral in the shape of a heart that's embedded in this other coral that's down here. And then it'll have some uh, type of seaweed or kelp or some of the fire coral i'm not sure what i'm going to make this into but and then there is an angel banner fish representing the heavens but then i'm going to clean that jellyfish up and refine it and then all this stuff here in the background is just going to be either more of this it's all going to have a purpose it just there's no need for me to draw it in right now but um i gotta sand this off and then once that's sanded off, I can go back up to the house where my iPad is and draw. Hey, what's going on? All right. <clears throat> so this is the piece that I showed in the video the other day. Um, the issue is the client um, in the middle of me starting the process, which I'm thankful that I was only up here. Uh, they had a little bit of a design change. Uh, actually, it's quite a bit of a design change um, and that happens a lot when you have uh, uh, commission work. That's one of the reasons why I'm kind of skeptic with uh, certain types of commission work, um, but it's fine. Uh, it helps me as an artist and it helps uh, with the uh, creation of my ability, you know, to evolve as an artist and a, and a carver and, and to, you know, make it happen. So. I'm just going to show it to you real quick. Hopefully you guys can see that. So basically, instead of all the hibiscus and everything, they wanted and ended up having an underwater scene and everything. Um, so you can see some of the uh, tube sponges that I'm starting right here and lowering the background as I go. Normally, I'll set all my lines and then remove a portion of the background. Uh, and again, this isn't the right way or this isn't the wrong way. This is just the way I do it. Um, it helps me visualize differently. Now there's some, like when I do my maple leaves, I don't have to lower the background. I can just boom, knock it out. Uh, but since this is something that I've 
never really ever carved before. Um, I've never carved any of these. So that's something new. Um, but this is the piece. So this is all representing the organic coral uh, reef. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully I have it in the camera because I have a, a new camera stand. But anyways, uh, so you got the jellyfish flowing here, the sea turtles, and then uh, under here I'm going to end up doing uh, probably brain coral that goes back into the gourd. Um, so when it sits down, it'll actually sit on just the edge of that coral which will kind of raise it up a little bit, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so this is where we are right now. I told you I'd give you guys an updated video, but this is where it is. Um, there are some hidden things in here and I'm sure you guys can see them in the video because I'm turning it slow enough. But um, there are reasons, uh, they're in there for a reason. I can't say right now um, because the client would rather me not say, but I just want to go ahead and uh, share this with you guys. Um, so you see how this coral is sunk back behind all this? I'll actually round all this over and create the other type of coral or the other, I'm not sure what kind of this is, but for the most part, we'll just say it's seaweed just for the time being. Um, but that'll, that'll get worked and everything like that. Every inch of this gourd will be worked. I created the new rim because this rim actually used to come up, um, but I wanted it to have a little bit of wave and more, more movement to it. So hopefully you guys like this. Um, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. And again, this is this is a big change um, because I had already had it set up and I actually dropped and set some of the lines on the hibiscus when I ended up getting the change. And then after I got the change and sent the pictures into them and they were like, oh yes, I like that, I love it, it's great. Um, I started working it again and they wanted me to add something else. So I ended up having to readjust the um, um the design a little bit which it wasn't a big deal it's just that for those of you that may get into commission work um those are one of the things that you may or may not run into but i love commission work to a certain degree um but most of the time i just like doing what i do and hopefully somebody will buy it but hope you guys like i look forward to hearing from you guys and uh Hopefully they're all good comments because right now I'm having a lot of fun with this piece, um, but it is a massive challenge uh, because I'm carving things that I've never carved before. So here we go. What's going on? Just wanted to share the update of this piece. This is more advanced than the one I put on Facebook today. curious to hear your thoughts I think the turtles coming along I did some of the tube sponges there they're not done none of it's done obviously uh, still working it out still figuring out where certain things are want to go the dimensions because there's a lot of different angles of each of the turtles that I have to play with and and take into consideration so just kind of curious as to hear your thoughts i'm so excited about this piece i uh nervous as hell though but enjoying it hey what's going on everybody just wanted to share an update uh, i know it's been a little bit since i had an update uh had other things going on uh with my art world that i had to get to and had to uh do and complete but i just want to share this piece with you i hope you guys like this piece this piece has been a challenging piece um because i have tried to get as much depth and perception as possible uh, many different angles many different views and everything like that i've been trying to achieve uh, especially with the uh tube sponges here and um, again, never carving a sea turtle. Um, you know, you want to take your time to make sure that you're getting everything correctly. Um, this piece will not have any color on it, um, the, you know, per client's request. So this piece here um, will also have a lot more sanding 
that needs to be done to this entire piece except for the background background is supposed to be textured but all of this all this will be sanded down smoothed out um given a cleaner edge less sharp edges um, and then the tubes i still have to even though i've done the hole and it actually goes back down inside um i still need to do all the texturing on the outside for the tube sponges and then i need to work on the jellyfish and the other sea turtle here I hope you guys like. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I greatly appreciate you guys' time. Thanks. Hey, what's going on? Just wanted to get your thoughts on this. Um, I really like how the brain coral came out. You know, in the shape of the top of a heart right there. It came out really well. And I'm actually thinking about turning all of this down here into brain coral. It's time consuming, but man, I think it came out really well. So it looks it looks good. And then it's got the seaweed growing out of the top of it. Still have to do the jellyfish. But I got all the tube done. All the tube sponges, those are done. All the holes, they go down inside there which is pretty cool. Uh, the turtle is pretty much done. I just got to clean him up and then I got to do the front part of his flipper here and then trim his flipper because it's supposed to bevel back. Um, so I got to do that. And then that's it. But yeah, the uh, brain coral I think came out really well. What are your thoughts? Hey, what's going on? Just wanted to share a little teachable moment for you. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I'm using that. These are my main guys that I use right here. But those specialty ones I just leave right up there. That way, whenever I need them, I can just grab them. So thank you very much for that. That was awesome. Uh, today's the first day that I've been able to get back into the studio. But I wanted to share with you, um, I've never did a jellyfish before. And there's a lot going on here. I mean, a lot. Um, but the one thing you uh because you've heard me say in my other videos where you have to uh, do a little bit and then go somewhere else do a little bit and go somewhere else go and this is the reason why because you don't want to take a chance of of doing too much in one area see where i work this one a little bit and now this is actually lower than this where this should be lower than this one this one should be lower than this one so i am still going to have to work it back to give that curvature going this way but i wanted to point out the tentacles the tentacle man especially this one right here the very first one right here it's coming out awesome i wanted to make sure that there was a lot of movement and a lot of depth so it's coming out well uh, i'm just starting to get into the tentacles and you know you got to get that curvature down so let me show you what it looks like when it spins Kind of give you an idea of the depth. I hope you are working on your piece, by the way. Just want to let you know that. But as the jellyfish is getting ready to come around, just kind of see how the head of it is going with the contour of the gourd. And that's one of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're creating it. That way it grabs the depth. All right, hope you like. Hey, I figured I'd just share a real quick video of what I'm working on while I am creating your laser pieces. I'm hoping to have the majority of this thing done by midnight tonight, hoping. The jellyfish tentacles are coming out awesome. All right, just figured I'd share this with you. Hope everything is well at the store for you. Hope everyone likes the new pieces that we created. Hey, just wanted to shoot a quick video because um, I had talked to you about lowering the background a little bit. So you can see like right here, I've lowered this background here just to expose how the curvature of this particular line is gonna go. So 
you can see by lowering each background at a different level, it'll give it a little bit more depth. So still have a lot of work to do on this guy, but uh, it's getting there. Finish the brain coral on the bottom. A little heart brain coral right there. And then as I get done dealing with all this and all this down here, I'll slowly work my way over, get mom written out right there. And then move on to the turtle. What do you think? All right, so I just want to give you a little bit of an update. I've done more on the jellyfish. The, the streamers are coming along really well. Uh, there's more depth to the, the head of it. But I started messing around with some of the background and cleaning it up, doing the stippling, other stuff. And the tubes came out awesome. I did texturing on them. I'll show it to you here in just a second. I'll actually check. They came out awesome, I think. Kind of made them look worn. And it separates them from the background. But it came out, I think, it, I think it's coming along pretty good. Uh, I don't have too much more carving to do except for the big turtle finish out the jellyfish and then stipple the background and everything in between the tentacles and stuff like that but I think the streamers or his tentacles or whatever came along pretty well what do you think hey what's going on everybody just wanted to give you guys an update video uh, I've had several people reach out to me uh, and ask if they had been able to work anymore on this um i've just been able to work on it i had a lot of uh different orders i do laser work also so um i had orders that i had to get out with that and including uh some carving orders that i had to get out so anyways just wanted to give you guys an update on this show you how this is i'm going to explain some things to you here in just a second i'm trying to get you guys to have a full look of the 100 percent all the way around um and then i will just stop the rotating thing all right so what i want to point out to you is the undercarriage of this i did in brain coral and then you could not see when it's sitting up here like this you really can't see the texture and you really can't appreciate the texture until the light hits it and the same thing with the tubes uh let me get this out of the way tube the oh the tube sponges came out awesome um still have the turtle left to do and let me zoom out here so the jellyfish i have a lot to work to do on the jellyfish but she is coming to life uh I'll just i'm just happy about it i really am but anyways um the tentacles are coming awesome the tentacles, believe it or not, when I initially drew them out, I was like, oh man, this is going to work out perfect. Um, and then I realized that it's not possible uh, because the way you have to turn and twist these and you can't twist these with the pencil and, you know, drawing it uh, and still say, still stay sane in the process of doing it. Um, but the tentacles are coming out awesome. There's a lot of movement very sharp edges and then i will dull them down you know just kind of you know make them a little softer but i'm almost done and then with the texture that's going in between sorry about holding this this is a very weird view for me but the texture is in between the tentacles and everything like that um i will again show this in a in when it's finished and everything and i'm sorry this video is as long as it is but i wanted you guys to see this firsthand and again, you can't really see, you really can't see the textures um, because the, the way I have my lighting set up in my uh, studio, uh, when I carve and everything, it, it doesn't, um, keeps me from being blinded by the uh, uh, reflection of the light coming back off the white piece. So I kind of keep the lights uh, weird. Um, for me anyways and they look really weird on the 
on the camera. But again, this is the piece. I really hope you like. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me. And um, again, thank you very much for all the kind words and following my work. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Okay, so the piece is done, but I really, well, not done. It, I only have one turtle left, but the jellyfish is done. The tentacles came out freaking awesome. Came out awesome. That just... They just pop. What do you think? Hey, what's going on everybody? Just wanted to share. The piece is complete. The only thing that's left to do is to go through the actual finishing process, which I'm not gonna bore you guys with. Uh, so this is the completed piece. Um, I went through everything, made sure that I got everything the way I needed it to. Um, the detail, uh, especially in the new turtle up here, uh, came out really well. There's a lot of depth to it, and I hope that you guys can see the depth in the camera. Um, had a lot of fun. Had a lot of a learning experience in this piece, uh, which was good. You know, it's always good for an artist and everything. But I just wanted to share this piece with you guys real quick, and I hope that you guys like. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and comments and stuff like that. So, um, oh, a message to all of my patrons out there. Uh, I appreciate you um, coming on board with my Patreon page. I greatly appreciate it. And because I finished with this piece, I will now be able to finish up the second part to the Frog series. Uh, so stay tuned for that here within the next week or so. And I will get that done and created for you guys. So again, everyone in all the networks, I greatly appreciate it. You guys have been really good to me. Thank you so much. I will let you know what the client says.